Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this super fun neon pinky orange yellowy look with some glitter. I don't know exactly what I'm calling it yet, but I really love the way it turned out. It gives me like sunset vibes. Um, I'm really excited because I used the Morphe X James Charles palette and then the new Juvia's Place foundation, which I actually really, really love. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so to go ahead and get started, I went ahead and primed my eyes. Um, I used the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in light sand, just this little guy. And then I went ahead and set it with a powder. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the eyes today since I'm going to be using color it's going to fall all onto my face and I feel like when you do like dramatic more dramatic eye looks when you do your eyes first and then your face it like pops more I don't know I just think it looks better and also it's way less messy so I'm going to start out with this pure what is this the pure cosmetics festival palette it just looks like this and the colors, I got this in my BoxyCharm. The colors are so pretty. If I sound like I'm out of breath, I literally just had to run up and down the stairs because the neighbors are doing some kind of construction and they're like drilling into their walls. And I was like, please, can you not do that right now? And it's like 9.30 at night. But anyway, I'm gonna jump into this palette and this is what it looks like. I'm going to start off with this shade right here, which is called Epic, and I'm just using a Morphe brush. It doesn't have a name, it's just like a big fluffy brush, and I'm just going to start, I hope I'm close enough for you guys to see, I'm going to start just working this into my crease just to put some dimension back into the eye. So I'm just going to blend this on the outer corner and up into the crease. I feel like it's kind of hard for you guys to see on camera, but I'm going to try my best. I need to learn how to adjust these camera settings. Um, but for now, this is what we're working with. Okay, so you can see how that just added like dimension back into the eye. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other eye. Alright, and then once this color is all blended on, I'm going to go ahead and take a little packer brush. This is just an e.l.f. brush. It's called an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. It's just a little tiny packer guy. Don't mind my nails. They are gross and I'm trying to let them breathe from acrylics, but they're a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into that pure palette. And now that I'm looking at myself, I literally have glitter all over my face from doing this look last night and my face looks so red on camera I think because these like big box lights um, like wash your color out but in person I look like yellowy tan I don't know it's so odd but as long as it picks up the eyeshadow you know what it is what it is I'm gonna jump back into this pure cosmetics palette and I'm gonna go ahead and take this bright pink shade right here and this one is called Wild Child. I'm going to take that pink shade. Oh my god, it's so bright. So I'm just going to take this on the lid and pack it on the entire eyelid. So all the way in and all the way out. And at this point, you don't need to worry about being super precise because it's all going to be blended out. This is one of those looks that's going to look really crazy until it's done, so just bear with me. 
So I'm just going to pack this shade on until I get it to the intensity that I like. So once we're looking all crazy and that shade is on the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this giant um, Morphe X James Charles palette. It's freaking huge, but I'm going to use this bright pink shade down here in the corner. It looks the same as the pure one, but this one's a little bit brighter. So I'm going to take that shade and I'm going to use this um, really beat up Sigma E25 blending brush. You can see I used it last night. Um, and I'm going to take that shade and I'm going to use this to blend out that pink and blend, really blend out the edges. So I'm really just taking my time to blend these edges and make sure nothing looks super sharp. And you also don't have to worry about the outer corner because, again, you can clean it up in the end. So I'm just blending that out. Alright, so once this pink shade is blended out, I'm going to jump into orange. So I'm going to take the James Charles palette and this orange shade right here. God, this palette is so huge. I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to take this shade. Actually, you know what? I lied. I'm going to mix these two oranges. Looks, this looks more yellow on camera, but you can see the bright yellow down here. Um, I'm going to mix these two together and I'm going to use this to soften up the edges even more. So looking crazy, of course, I know this looks really crazy, but I promise it's going to turn out. Um, so once that shade is all blended, I'm going to go in with the bright yellow shade that I was just talking about. So down here, this one right here, and I'm going to take a little bit less fluffy of a brush. I mean, sorry, less dense of a blush, blush of a brush. God, I can't even talk. Um, it's this one right here. It's a little Morphe brush. It's nice and tapered. So I'm going to take that bright um, yellow. I just love how pigmented these are on the brushes. Alright, I'm going to knock off the excess and I'm just going to run this right along the edge of where we put that orange. So just blending out the edges and the key with colors is literally just to keep blending and when you think you're done blending keep blending <laughs> Alright, so I blended that yellow shade in and literally I went back and forth between oops, I went back and forth between this little Morphe brush and then this big more fluffier brush. This one's a lot smaller. So like a smaller and a bigger. And really just went in and blended and blended and blended and blended and kept blending. That's really what I find the key is to having like a really flawless fade when it comes to these kind of looks um, and really using color in general. So I'm going to leave this like this for now and I'm going to go ahead and take a makeup wipe and clean up the edges and I'm going to throw on some eyeliner and some lashes 
because I have to be like two inches from the mirror to do that so I will be right back so lashes are on I really like these lashes I feel like they're almost hard to see on camera but I really like them these are the Ardell Demi Wispies they look like this I just got a pack of them a pack of five um, I don't like super dramatic eyelashes. I really don't like eyelashes in general, but I feel like for like colorful or dramatic looks like this, you kind of need them. I just feel like it makes the look. So we're gonna do the face now and then do the lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. I am in shade Ibiza 530. Looks like this. So I'm going to take that and my Sonia Kashuk um, blending sponge. I love these. I think they're so cute, like the marble. It kind of makes me sad to get it dirty, but <laughs> whatever. So this foundation is super, super, super full coverage. And I already know when it goes on, it's going to look kind of yellowy. But once concealer and bronzer and everything else is on, it'll all come together. So I'm literally going to take a little dab of this like literally like a little tiny pea sized amount and I'm gonna start working this um, oh my gosh I almost didn't put on primer jeez okay so I'm gonna go in with this no problem prime essence um, touch and soul primer this one just looks like this I'm gonna put this on I moisturized before the video oh this is like really liquidy I guess it'll be kind of good because that foundation is matte so well it's called a velvet matte so we shall see all right so then once that's on now I'm gonna jump in with our little which side this side like oh my god do you see when I put this on, I know it looks, like don't mind the color, I swear it ends up working out, <laughs> but the coverage is just literally insane. God, I feel like it just goes on forever. I look like I have jaundice. <laughs> Because on camera my chest looks so red, but in person it's not. And every time I look in the viewfinder, I'm like, whoa. I promise it'll come together. I promise. So foundation is all blended out. I know I'm still looking kind of crazy, but it is what it is. This foundation is super, super nice. And I know once the concealer and everything's on, it will come together. I wore this the other day and it looked so pretty. So I just went in with my ColourPop concealer in the shade Light 18. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I picked this up the other day when I got the Juvia's Place foundation. And then I'm just going to do a little dot, like literally a little dot, of my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade sand and I'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty blender not beauty blender beauty sponge and just blend it all out Alright, so once this is all blended out, I'm going to go ahead and set it using my Maybelline Fit Me Powder that looks like this. This is in the shade Fair Light or Light, Fair Light, and the number is 10. And I'm going to go right in before this starts creasing on me and set that, I mean, set the powder, set that concealer. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm going to use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I believe this is in Give Me Sun. Yes. It's a very warm bronzer, which I feel like is good for my skin tone right now. So, 
Yeah, there we go. That's better. All right, jumping into contour, I'm going to use this Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This thing is very used. Um, I'm going to go in with this cooler tone shade and then this warmer tone shade and mix them together to do a little bit of um, contouring. I'm just going to use this little e.l.f. angle brush that just looks like this and I'm going to lightly tap into each shade, tap off the excess and start from the top of my ear and bring it down. And then I'm going to tap into this um, cooler tone shade right here, tap off the excess and just pinch my brush and I'm just going to do a tiny nose contour. My nose is super duper broken and crooked so I don't really like to contour it that much but a little bit won't hurt. Cute. So I want to go in with some blush. Um, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Color Icon blush in, what is this, Mellow Wine. And I'm just going to use my Morphe Angled Bluff, Bluff Blush, goodness, blush brush. And I'm going to tap into this and work it on the cheeks and just bring it on back. I don't want to do too crazy of a blush because of our eye look so this is like my go-to blush I feel like it just looks really pretty with any look because it's kind of bronzy with like a hint of rosy pink and then for highlight I'm really actually excited I have this pretty vulgar highlight um, this is in the shade shimmering swan it says shimmering swan 126 glow up highlighter I don't really know and I don't think you guys can see with all the crazy lights but it looks like this I actually got this in a boxy charm because they sent me a bronzer these are really hard to open <laughs> they sent me a bronzer that was completely shattered so I emailed them and then they sent me two of these highlighters but if you can see it's just this really pretty like goldy pink color so I'm really excited for this so I'm just gonna take my little ipsy highlighting brush that looks like this just a tapered little brush and I'm just going to put this right on the tops of my cheekbones oh yeah it's pretty it's kind of dark for my skin tone but still very pretty. I don't like an intense highlight anyway, so that is okay with me. And then on the lip, let me take some with my finger. Put it on the nose. And then right up. And then right on the cupid's bow. Alright, so now we can go ahead and finish up the lower lash line. So I'm going to jump back into the James Charles palette. Okay, I have a mess in front of me. Alright, so I went ahead and cleaned up because it was like a disaster in front of me. But we're going to jump back into the Morphe X James Charles palette. And I'm going to start off by going in with the, um, actually... Yeah, I'm gonna go in with the orange shade first, and I'm just gonna take that and start on the outer corner and blend it back and forth. So earlier I like cleaned up the edges with a makeup wipe, and then obviously when I put my foundation and concealer on, I cleaned up these edges, so it was like a nice sharp line. But when I'm doing the when I'm doing the under eye, 
I'm making sure to connect it to the upper shadows just so it all blends nicely and I'm just going to take this back and forth so then I'm going to go in with this little Morphe pencil brush and I'm going to go into the pure cosmetics palette and I'm going to jump into this bright pink shade only because it's a little bit darker than the bright pink shade from the James Charles palette and I'm going to start on the outer corner and connect it and bring it all the way to the inner corner but not going into the inner corner if that makes sense and I'm keeping it pretty close up to the lash line just like right on the lash line alright so once that shades all packed on I'm gonna go into the bright bright yellow on this little pack of brush and I'm gonna tap off the excess and I'm just gonna blend out the orange and pink and just go side to side really just blend it on out all right so then I'm gonna go ahead and this is like the fun part for me which is the inner corner I'm gonna take a little tiny brush the same exact bright yellow shade and start packing that right on the inner corner and connecting it to the top shades and the bottom lash line I hope the camera picks up like how vibrant the yellow is maybe I will turn down my lights so it shows up better but it's super pretty yes I love that okay so I'm just gonna go back in with this little shade this little shade this little brush we used for the yellow and take even more yellow and this is when I like to just go back in and make sure everything is blended on um, my eyelids so I'm just gonna put this right on the end the edges and make sure everything is all blended out. So I went ahead and wiped off what was on my lips, all the foundation to do the lip. And I was sitting here with this little pure palette and I was telling you guys earlier that I had glitter all over my face because I did this look last night and I totally forgot I love this look because of this shade called fireworks right here oh my god I hope the camera picks it up but this one and this one are just like straight glitters they're so pretty and when I was doing this look last night I packed it on my lid so what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of it um, like right on top of the lid it makes me so sad so I'm just gonna pack it on the lid upset I didn't get it on before my lashes and liner but I still think that it looks really pretty I've hooded eyelids so it's kind of hard to see so jumping into lips um, I'm going to be using this Tardist um, liquid lip 
and it's just a really pretty nude shade since our eyes are so vibrant. Alright, so then once the lips are on, I'm going to go ahead and spritz my face with, with, with some Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And I'm going to take my little sponge and just make sure all of the powders are all pushed into the skin. Alright, and then after we're all set, the last thing I'm going to do is take a nude eyeliner. This is the Absolute New York um, Little Nude Eyeliner. And I'm just going to put this right in the inner um, rim of my eye. Yeah, I feel like that adds like such a pretty pop to the eyes and makes them look wider. And then I'm just going to pop on some lower lash mascara and I'm going to use the Too Faced um, Better Than Sex mascara. This has been like my go-to. Alright guys, and then that is it for this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I was kind of like all over the place and I was really upset I forgot the freaking glitter on my eyes but I really loved how this look turned out and I hope you guys did too um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you guys have any video recommendations please let me know I'm always debating like what should I film so just let me know in the comments um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video Bye, guys.